Hi, thank you for joining us and welcome to this fifth and final short webinar on unfair dismissal and some other substantial reason. My name is Gary Smith. I'm a partner in the employment team at Knockhold Solicitors. And in this final seminar, we're going to look at how to dismiss fairly for SOSR. Well, firstly, it, there is no formal process that must be followed in the same way as there might there is the ACAS code for disciplinary matters, but it is always best practice to uh, write to the employee setting out the concerns or the reason that you are considering potentially dismissing and provide them with any evidence to substantiate that. You would then look to meet with the employee to discuss your concerns. Now, depending on your reason will depend on how the meeting runs. But if you're looking at a relationship breakdown, um, you might want to understand from the employee what the issues are. How could it potentially be fixed? Is it in fact fixable? If you're looking at protecting the employer's interests, seek to understand why they won't agree to the additional confidentiality provisions to the uh, enhanced restrictive covenants. What are their intentions? Why are they objecting so much? If it's retirement, do they agree? What are their plans? Could you agree uh, uh, perhaps a phased reduction in their hours to assist in moving them towards retirement? Do they not want to go now but want to go in six months time? Is that something you could accommodate and live with? Those sorts of conversations should go ahead. After the meeting, you may want to reflect on what has been said, consider any further evidence that may be of relevant, and then you may look to set out the dismissal in writing, and that would always be best practice. There is no legal right to appeal in a SOSR dismissal, but it is often best practice to, to offer that. You would then hold an appeal hearing, ideally with someone uh, who has not previously been involved in the case. But if that's not possible, then you would simply look to uh, consider the employee's representations in as impartial a manner as you can, confirm the outcome of the appeal in writing, and then that is the end of the matter. So I hope you found these short webinars of interest. Please do look out for our other webinars uh, series, so on incapability, on misconduct, on redundancy, and on statutory illegality. If you do have any questions on any of these, please do get in touch. We'd love to be able to help you. And otherwise, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you.